friends and welcome back to another unboxing video. Today we're going to be looking at the Strange Planet oof, Strange Home Box from Culturefly. And just for comparison I have the first box which is star damage so you can see that they have a neat little difference in design which is pretty dope. This one again Strange Home so it's themed after being at home in like the fall season which is nice even though it arrived a little late for fall admittedly so I'm going to go ahead and put this down here and it, this isn't scripted in any way I haven't opened the box yet so I'm just going to go through these and react to the things inside as I open them and again just like last time I opened this it is it's stuffed it's heavy the box is large uh, yeah, we'll start with this this looks feels like a hoodie I'm right, it is a hoodie. Which on the front just has, oh look, it's the exact same sort of doodad I have on my shirt from the last box, that's nice. And on the back, I think that's wildly unprepared for the day, which is, again, another one of Nathan's classic, classic panels. In terms of the material, it feels pretty good. You know, I've opened boxes, like the Elder Scrolls box that I opened on this channel, uh, the, the hoodie was horrible. Did I open that Elder Scrolls box with the hoodie? Or did I, did I do that in my spare time? I might have done that in my spare time. But let me tell you, I opened an Elder Scrolls box and the hoodie was the cheapest piece of garbage I've ever seen. I didn't even wear it. Not a single time did I wear it because it was so bad. I was afraid if I wore it, it would immediately break. But this actually feels really good. I don't know how soft it is because it's not like super lined. It's, it's fairly thin. Uh, you know, actually, just the hood is kind of thin, but the arms are decently stuffed, so I'd imagine that this is, is decently worn. Let's see. Fabric torso covering is what the tag says. Not going to put a close-up shot of a hoodie, just because it's large. <laughs> you, know, you don't need more detail of it. Uh, here we go. We have a tote bag, or as the tag says, a fabric object carrier. Also just as good. And on the front it has a comic, which I'll get some close-up shots of this. It says, do you require assistance? I believe in my abilities. I observe. But a second journey would... There cannot be a second journey. Okay. I need the thrill of efficiency. <laughs> which is just me. <laughs> I love taking as many bags as possible and hurting my arms immensely. So let's see. It has this cute little plastic guy, little plastic being on there for the zipper tag. The inside of it is lined white. It's not, it's pretty decent. The material inside doesn't feel too bad. It doesn't feel too cheap. The outside material feels a little cheap, a little bit, but not too bad. As a tote bag, I would say this is probably better. Not so much for grocery shopping, as the comic intends, but this is more for, like, picnicking or taking stuff to the beach. One of those kinds of bags. I need the thrill of efficiency, it says. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I do enjoy that. What else do we got in here? Uh, the vinyl figure, I think I'll do that one last. Aha! The card is over here that tells us everything that's inside of here. And on the back of it is the design that was on the box, which is nice. I do appreciate that. I'll just put that over here actually and ooh with the big box in here this, this is the largest box that's in there hot liquid concave holder nice do I need a knife I never get I always forget to bring a knife to open things on camera you would think I would remember to do that but no I never do but this is packaged super easily to get into which is nice we can put that over there for now. A mug. It's all blue. It's blue on the inside and the outside. It has the little face of the creature on it. It's a nice mug. It's branded from Culture Fly, just like the uh, cup. And now I have all this stuff all over my hands. You're gonna, from the inside of this packaging, you're gonna see that in all the close-up shots, I'm sure. It's, it's decently hefty, but not too hefty. It's, it's honestly, it feels really good. Yeah, it's so nice. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that mug. Because it's another thing I can use every day. Ooh, and another print. I can hang this up 
next to my print, which is actually, it's just right out of, it's out of frame, just a little bit right up on my wall, right above my uh, signed headshot of Tommy Wiseau, everyone's favorite actor and director and writer. Observe the colorful star descent. Why is it colorful? Sometimes tiny particles intensify the scattering of light. Whoa. I love the tiny particles. I do too. It's a, it's a nice little print. I think, compared to the print I got last time in the last box, I think the other one is just a little better because the entire canvas was blue, which matched that the print was about looking at a blue sky, and this print is just white around the sides. It'd be cool if the outside was, was maybe orange or purpley to sort of match the innards. Uh, if I didn't have the last box to compare this to, I, I'm sure I would have literally nothing negative to say about this. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail on how it feels, just because I assure you this is going to be exactly the same as the one I received in the last box, and you can just watch that video if you want, you know, extensive detail on the feeling of the materials. Uh, spoiler, they're pretty good. Every Everything you get in these Culture Fly boxes is always of good quality, you know. They're always worth your money, which I normally will not say about a subscription box almost ever. Ooh -hoo. Oh, nice! Everyone's favorite snack, the silica gel, is in here. Decorative metal fastener. Oh, is this a pin? I was hoping there would be a pin every time, just because I love pins. I'll, uh, I'll put a shot in frame of my pin tapestry that I have, which I put all of my and my girlfriend's pins on. And this one says, I am a beacon of joy, and it's not... It's large. Oh, the fastener just flew off screen. That's fine. It's not quite as detailed and intricate as the pin we got in the last box, but I do think that's to its benefit because the last pin was riddled with errors and was and had some like paint problems on it. But this one is just a standard circle with some, you know, metal text on the back. The front of it is sort of like a reflective plastic over, over the image, which I think is fine. I'm a beacon of joy is, is a good quote from one of the comics. Not as iconic as some of the other ones they probably could have chosen, but still a good one. Uh, I, I would say that I appreciate that this pin is nice and better on a quality level when compared to the last box's pin, but I would say it's a little less experimental and a little less fun. So this one's going to go up on the pin tapestry, but I don't think I'd want to put it on like a backpack or something. Now we're down to the last three things in here. We have the hot leaf liquid infuser. Oh, oh, and it has a comic on the side. I'll read that. This is scalding. I want it. It appears you poured hot liquid on some old leaves. That's exactly what I did. Mmm, hot leaf liquid. Sucrose crystals? Several thousand, please. Nice. This is for making tea. I don't know how they would make a tea infuser Strange Planet themed. Oh, okay. I see. It just has, it literally just has that comic hanging off of it on like a little plastic tag, which is fun. That's nice. I appreciate that. I don't think I would get any use of it out of this because I, I actually mentioned I, I don't, I don't drink anything besides water, really. That includes, I don't, I don't drink tea, so... This isn't the most valuable thing to me, but I can take it and put it in the cup, and that looks that looks pretty nice. That's cute. That's that's nice. I like that. I'll probably use. I'll make some tea for my girlfriend or my mom or something for Thanksgiving. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to get some use out of it. It's very. It's certainly useful, despite the fact that I would not use it. It's certainly not something I would ever expect to get in in a little subscription box. It's a useful item. You usually don't get that in, in boxes. You usually just get garbage. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh. Unconscious optics covering. That's nice. Let's go this. Pull this out of the packaging. Ooh. This actually feels pretty nice. The, t the tag is large. I need to cut the tag with scissors. The tag is too big. But the elastic on the back feels pretty nice. The, the material that the mask itself is made of is 
really, really nice. It's, it's, it genuinely feels really great. I'm gonna go ahead and just, this is excruciatingly tight. I don't know. I think this was designed for the head of a child uh, because I'm pretty sure if I keep this on myself for 30 seconds or more, I will, I will go unconscious. And that's not because I'm entering sleep mode. It's because this is cutting off the blood flow to my head, which definitely not cool. Gonna have to adjust that. If you get this box, please don't put this on. You may not get it off. It, it hurts, it genuinely hurts my head. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm not even joking when I feel like, you, you know when you wake up and your eyes are like kind of weird and you see like a lot of white or like if you look into a light bulb, that mask was so tight that's what my eyes feel like, which is not great. But let's go ahead and get into the last thing in the box, which is another one of these, which is great because I actually have the other one over here so we can compare them side by side. But also, again, uh, I forgot. I forgot my knife. So after fiddling with this for like 30 seconds, you actually need a pair of scissors to open this. And I'm gonna get a close-up shot of it after I've already opened it. But there's a lip on the inside of this, meaning that if you try to lift the plastic out, you just can't get it out because the lip keeps the plastic bits inside. So you need scissors to cut this thing open. So here we have both of them out of the packaging and I can already tell you just from holding this one that it is a lot heftier than the original one we got. And it just, it feels a little better. Now the paint job is about the same. The quality feels about the same as the other one. If we take a look at the details, it says creatures and narratives and the creatures part kind of goes a little bit off the edge which isn't great there's a lot more painting details i think on this one just because there's a creature and the being and he's reading a book and the book does not have any text on it but it, it still is painted there's just a little you know there's a couple nicks here and there on this figure and you can see a few parts on the socks especially where the uh paint is sort of running from the red into the white. So overall, it's not something you want to take super close detail at, but it is nice, you know, for for a box that was as cheap as this, for a figure to be of this quality it is pretty impressive. It's a, it's a nice little vinyl figure, and I think I actually do like it a little more than the original one. So what do I think of the box overall? I think it's pretty great. I think it's worth your money, just like the last one was. The quality is still there, which is great, and in certain places I think it's a little lacking like on the canvas print but on other places it's it's even better like I think that sweatshirt is a little better than the shirt I'm wearing now and the shirt I'm wearing now is already very good so I'm quite happy with the box overall and I would tell you guys that it is worth your money which most subscription crates are not but I can genuinely say that the culture fly strange planet strange home box is quite good and I'm sure that the strange holiday box coming out soon for uh, Christmas is going to be just as good and I'm looking forward to getting it too so if you guys liked the video, then leave a like on it, I guess. You don't have to. You can subscribe if you want to see me play video games, because that's usually what I do on this channel. <laughs> uh, but I hope you guys had a great time watching me unbox these. I very much enjoy these vinyl figures, and I like that these are going to be in every single box. I can't wait to put these all on display on like my mantle or my figure shelf that I have over in the other room. But thank you guys for joining me. Have a great rest of your night.